Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, able to make a, a decent temperature recovery this afternoon, considering we started with cold temps and frost early this morning. Now, on Doppler radar, light showers and sprinkles have moved out for now, so we're in a bit of a lull, and I'm not expecting uh, too much in the way of widespread uh, wet conditions for this evening, so heading out for the most part, it should be okay. It's actually comfortable, and with readings are still in the 50s right now. In downtown Providence, cloudy skies, very humid. At last check, 54. So, I mean, even with the cloud cover today, we were able to get temperatures up into the 50s. And one reason why, a milder wind direction out of the south at uh, 6 miles per hour. Most spots right now, mid-50s, including 54 in Smithfield, as well as Taunton to Bedford coming in at 52. Uh, Newport 51 in Westerly at 54 with clouds and a little bit of patchy fog. Here's the wider view. One little batch of showers that came through now offshore, a bit of a lull, but you see a more generous area. Upper left-hand side of your TV set, that's associated with a cold front, which is the leading edge of cooler and drier air. We'll notice that cool down, not so much tomorrow day, but by tomorrow night and Thursday. And before that happens, this will come through, but it's still, I mean, it's pretty far away and it really won't get here until early tomorrow morning. So again, heading out this evening, maybe you're doing some uh, some shopping in those uh, errands. It looks OK. Midnight 55 and take note the temperatures now most of the time at night they fall, but not tonight. They'll hold steady and if anything, they'll be rising. So bottom line will stay in the 50s all night long. So here's what it looks like right now. Let's take it into the future. First of all, with the temperatures and notice we're still on the mild side, at least for another 18 to 24 hours. Just watch the clock right up in here. We'll take it to the next 24 hours, showing mainly cloudy skies at seven o'clock. Overnight tonight, not much going on as far as precipitation. 2 a.m. There may be a few breaks uh, in the overcast. And then by uh, tomorrow morning early, you see a line of showers coming through. This is around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So it does uh, coincide with the uh, morning commute. In fact, we'll show it to you hour by hour. And, uh, well, that's actually the afternoon. I'm sure. <laughs> We start with the morning. Here we go. And you see uh, showers coming in uh, 7 a.m. 55, so a mild start to the day. By uh, late morning, we start to see things uh, dry out. You see the showers by uh, 10 a.m. starting to push offshore and then increasing amounts of sunshine uh, during the afternoon and a decent finish to the day despite the wet start and then much cooler, colder weather coming up for tomorrow night. So tomorrow afternoon looks pretty good. We'll squeak out, <coughs> excuse me, one more. A mild day with readings uh, in the mid to upper 50s in most spots. Uh, the wind will start to pick up as well, but uh, those winds will bring in some dry air tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and especially some uh, colder temperatures by tomorrow evening. All right, seven day outlook. Uh, temperatures are back to normal on Thursday. Increasing clouds for Friday. Still forecasting rain showers uh, Saturday and Sunday, though I think Sunday would be the better day or the better chance for showers with uh, temperatures in the 50s. Still no sign of any significant cold or snow. Nice weekend. Not too bad. I hope you get your voice back. It's, some people are not too uh, disappointed about the fact that I'm oh, from, stop uh, it. losing my voice. <laughs>